Hello and welcome to the WVU Flute Studio. So this video is going to take you through our studio Google Drive. Everything that you could ever need flute-wise is going to be located in this drive. Um, so for this video specifically, I'm going to take you through our fall folder and our general resources folder. These are the two main folders that you will need at the very beginning of the semester. Um, you are obviously welcome to look through the other folders as well. You'll need them throughout the semester, but right now our main focus is for our fall and the general resources. So you will have access to this folder very soon. If not, you'll be given access maybe at the same time that you uh, are given access to this video. But once you are given access to this folder, I highly recommend going ahead and bookmarking this page so that you always have easy access to it. Um, it will also always be in your Google Drive. So whenever you click your Google Drive, it will be in your Shared With Me folder and it will be labeled the WVU Flute Studio 2022-2023 or whatever school year you are in. So first things first, let's go through our fall folder. The very first thing you're going to want to do is go through the Flute Studio Handbook. There's a lot of information in our handbook. It's going to take you probably a couple hours, maybe through a couple of days to get through everything that you need to do. Um, but let's look at a couple documents together. So the first thing you'll want to look at is our contacts list you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you add everybody's phone number to your phone and your contact list to make sure that you have everyone that you need. Um, so this is everyone in our studio as of this semester with their phone number and their email. You'll also wanna look at the sample forms. So in our sample forms document or folder, um, you have your applied lesson sign up form. This is going to be due in person the very first studio class of the semester. So I am personally going to leave these outside of the studio the day before classes start. I'm not sure what will happen in other semesters, but for this fall 22 semester, um, hard copies will be available at uh, outside of the flute studio. You can also print this if you want. Make sure before you fill out your lesson form, you contact your pianist and you make sure when they are going to be available. From there, you're going to mark all of the times that you and your pianist are available. Um, and you're gonna mark that with a P like you see down here. So this means this is your first preference for a lesson time and your pianist is also available. Um, you'll also make sure that you place squares around all of the times that you are free from any classes, ensembles, or obligations. Um, even if your pianist isn't available, go ahead and block a square around that. And that way Professor Simakopoulos will know when she can schedule your lessons. So um, again, you're not going to email this document. You're going to hand it in in person in studio class, the very first class of the semester for the fall 2022 school year. Um, and make sure you follow this format when you fill this out. You're also going to fill out your semester goals. This is going to be due a little bit later. I believe it's due the first Friday of the semester. Um, you'll have to double check that with your checklist. But this is something that everybody fills out at the beginning of every semester. You'll also fill it out in the spring semester. This takes quite a bit of time if you're doing this correctly. So I would recommend planning like an hour, maybe two hours to make sure that you are really thinking very clearly and intentionally about the answers to these questions. Um, this final grade sheet isn't something you need right away, but it is something that you will want to fill out throughout the whole semester. So make sure that you have it handy. You are likely not going to have 19 lessons throughout the semester, but you will want to make sure you mark every single date of every lesson that you have. If you're an undergraduate student, make sure you mark whether or not your lesson was with Professor Asima Kopoulos or one of the grad students and make sure you list their name. Go ahead and write your lesson grade in here, the number of hours you practiced that week, 
and then if you were in studio class, if you performed for studio class, or if you were absent. This is going to be due at the end of the semester, so it's easier to just fill it out as the semester goes on than wait until the end. Um, and you'll also fill out if you attended any recitals, if you attended the graduate quintet recital, other events that you um, attended throughout the school year or the semester, sorry. And then this self-evaluation form, this will get filled out at the very end of the semester and I will provide copies for you in studio class. You don't have to worry about this too much. Okay, so after you've gone through your sample forms, make sure you read through your agreement of professional conduct. Um, there's a bunch of other really important information in here, but one thing I wanna make sure that you are aware of is this collaboration policy. So when you are working with an accompanist or collaborators, it's important that you get all of this information and you can even hand them or email them this sheet. Make sure before you start working together, you know exactly how much they charge for a 30 minute rehearsal or a 30 minute lesson, a 60 minute rehearsal, a 60 minute lesson, how much they charge for juries, recital hearings, um, recital performances, if they're only playing for 30 minutes or if they're playing for 60 minutes. Make sure you understand what their recording session rate is. This is all really important information to get immediately. Have it in writing. And also make sure you are aware of how they want to be paid. Um, you're also going to need to make sure that you send copies of your music to your pianist immediately. So make sure you gather all of the information on this collaboration policy from your pianist and other collaborators as soon as possible. So that's pretty much everything that you need to pay special close attention to in the handbook. Everything that is in a doc is also in a PDF version. So if you wanna print anything out, you can go to the PDF version and print it out directly. I know it's easier to print PDFs than Google Docs because sometimes the formatting gets a little weird. Okay, then you're going to want to go over to your syllabi, your units and assignments, and just make sure you read the information based on whatever level, um, whatever level of lessons you are in. Um, our studio events and our M495 class folder is something you're going to want to access a lot. Uh, so all of the events throughout the entire semester are going to be listed on this page. And this is going to continue to grow as more events are added. So this is currently up to date for what I have so far. As studio recitals become confirmed, that will change um, as individual solo recitals are confirmed that will be added. Various events will be added throughout the semester. And I will also give you an updated list each week throughout all of the weekly updates. You can also look and see what we are doing for every single studio class throughout the entire semester. So you can see our very first studio class of the semester, we're going to be meeting in room 4113. And it's important that you bring your flutes. Make sure that you are ready for studio pictures that are going to be placed on social media. Our second class of the semester, we're just going to review our syllabi. We'll discuss training logs, answer questions, things like that. Um, and then be prepared for the first week in September. We're going to be giving mini performances. So right now, everybody has a specific time slot. If you only have two minutes of music to perform or three minutes of music to perform, that is totally fine. You do not need to use the entire time slot given, but you do need to make sure that you don't go over. If you are someone who's in marching band, I tried to make sure that I placed you at the very beginning of class. If I messed up and I placed you at a time where you need to leave for marching band, we will change the order. That's not a problem. But marching band flutes are always excused early so they can make sure that they walk over to rehearsal and are there on time. Um, but as the semester continues, you can see all of the studio events that are happening as well as um, what we're doing in each studio class. And this will become filled out uh, as the semester goes on. 
Uh, we'll also want to make sure that you fill out the master repertoire list. So every single person is going to put the full composer name, the full piece name, any movements that they might be playing. Make sure you include your orchestral excerpts, excerpts I'm sorry, <laughs> and anything that you plan to memorize should be noted with an asterisk. And this will just be updated and shared with the whole studio so we can always um, be aware of new pieces and work to expand our repertoire. There are other things that you'll want to go over within this folder, but that's what you need to know for now. Um, technique juries, this is only for undergraduate students. Make sure you take a special look at this. Technique juries usually happen in week eight. Um, if you are a new student, you will likely only be doing level one, maybe level one and two, but make sure you're aware that this is coming up in the eighth week of classes. It tends to sneak up on people. Um, we'll go over training logs and models in another video. Some other course documents, if you just want to have the lesson sheet all by itself, the lesson sign-up sheet is here. The student goals and questionnaire is also here all by itself. Uh, just please note that these are all class copies, so make sure that you copy this before you fill it out. Don't fill out the class copy because then everybody's going to see your answers. And it's a personal thing between you and professor. Alrighty. Um, there's some social media resource resources in here. Another thing that you're going to access a lot is your student folder. So every student has their own personal folder. And whenever you click on your folder, you are going to see your final portfolio. So this is going to be something that you keep up with throughout the entire semester. So within your final portfolio, you have various things that you're going to place in your general folder. Anything that needs to go in the general folder is listed in that syllabi units and assignments folder, which I think is the second one. You're also going to put your semester plan in this folder. Some people will only have one semester plan. Some people will change their semester plan and have like five different versions. That's perfectly fine. Just make sure you have every version of your semester plan in here. Place all of your training logs in here. It's easier if you just do it week by week and professor will likely check at the beginning of the semester to make sure you're staying on top of things. Um, your training logs should always be labeled chronologically so it's easy to know which training logs are for which week. And then your lesson notes will also go in here and same thing, your lesson notes need to be labeled chronologically. This is something that professor looks through in detail at the end of the semester as part of your applied flute grade. So keep up with it throughout the year. Um, and let's see. Uh, I think that's everything for the student folders. Yep, that's everything that we really need to make sure that you understand for the fall folder. Now let's go over to the general resources. So this is going to be another really important folder for you to utilize. So the first thing, our welcome email that is jam-packed with so much information. This is going to be in your general resources folder. This is the same thing that gets emailed out to you just so you have easy access to it. Same thing with your fall 2022 checklist. Um, everything that you need to do before the semester starts and at the beginning of the semester is right here in this folder. And then um, this is a really great resource as well. If you just need some shortcuts to some links and you're not really sure where things are, this sheet is going to give you access to any link that you could possibly need at the beginning of the school year. Um, the digital... Literacy survey is also located in this general resources folder. This is for all beginning students, graduate or undergraduate. Every new student needs to take this literacy survey just so Professor Seema Kapolis and I can have a basic understanding of your digital literacy and we can fill in any gaps that you might need to help make the semester run a bit more smoothly for you. And there are other resources that you'll want to use in here throughout the semester, but these are the four that you'll want for the very beginning. 
Um, you'll also want to take a look at this folder, examples of semester plans, examples of practice logs, lesson notes, and scores. Each of these folders have various examples for you to look at and review and gain information on, on how to set up your semester plan, how to make a practice log, how to write your lesson notes, and how to separate your musical scores and break them up into sections. So I'm going to go through each of these different tasks in a separate video, but there's also information for you in all of these folders as well. All right, and I think that is really everything you need to know for the beginning of the school year. Like I said, you're going to want to take some time to go through everything and make sure that you are familiar with everything that's in this fall folder everything that's in the general resources folder. This studio photos and bios, if you are a new student, you've already sent this information to me and I will eventually put that information in your individual folder. That's not anything you really need to worry about. And the spring semester folder won't be set up until the spring semester. So here is um, all of the information that you could possibly need for the beginning of the school year. Hopefully this video made sense and was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, reach out to your studio mentors and reach out to whoever the graduate assistant is for that school year. And we will make sure that you are hopefully feeling a little more comfortable and a little less overwhelmed because it's a lot of information to deal with right away. But we have all gone through this program and we have all gotten through it and you will too.